G'day guys, welcome back of course to the Time Bomb channel and I hope all is good in your part of the world. Watch review of the Casio AE1200 WH1AVCF, the Stealth Royale. Is this the wallet friendly GMT that you've been looking for? <laughs> So yes, certainly not a new watch, um, and I'm sure many of you regulars uh, to the channel probably already own one yourselves anyway. One second, a little peel, lovely. Um, um, I can't remember if I did actually do a review back in the day when I picked up, um, well, I fell into the hype, didn't I? I fell victim to the hype of the Casio Royal Royal when it was first released, and I duly picked up one of the steel versions, only to be wholly underwhelmed and promptly sold it. The uh, tin foil uh, covered case and that awful bracelet got my panties in a bunch and there's nothing worse than a bombardier when his panties in a bunch. So yeah, as I say, certainly not a new release. Um, but um, yeah, just before I get into the watch today, I also wanted to give a quick shout out to Craig over at Wrist Envy. Um, I bought, picked up a couple of uh, leather straps from him recently. Brilliant quality straps and very reasonably priced, specifically those in the sale. So please do give him a check out um, if you're looking for something. Um, back to the Casio. I've seen quite a few people out and about recently uh, wearing these, so I figured, yeah, let's keep an open mind and uh, try again. Indeed, the perils of being a watch nutter is that some ghosts never actually leave you. I think that one of the reasons the talking of ghosts and things like that, <laughs> one of the reasons why this, uh, why these watches are so popular is that there is the nostalgia uh, proposition. And what I mean by that, of course, is one of the reasons that the AE twelve hundred resident resonated when they first released it was that it reminded me so much of the beginnings of my watch disease, uh, beginning as a child when I was looking at all those digital marvels in the Argos catalog. That, Argos catalogue, it left an indelible mark on my brain. Um, the World Times uh, displayed up here also as well resonated a little bit because my mother is from foreign parts, so I was acutely aware of the big wide world from a much earlier age than most of my chums around me um, who'd never been over the bridge to Wales, let alone across the water to Eurolandia. Again, not new watches, but again, just uh, for reference, uh, key speckage on these. They're about 42 mils across. You will need to add a couple of uh, extras just for those uh, pushers. It's an uber manageable 49, 45 mils north to south and again 12 mils deep. You do get, of course, as you can see on the screen, um, 100 meters worth of watery goodness. Um, so you can wear it properly, unlike those uh, that come with 50 meters worth of damp proving. Um, possibly one downside to the size and the construction is the weight. Um, if you're used to wearing a steel watch, you'll know what I mean. These only weigh in at 39 grams, which is ultra light. Just to give you a little bit of perspective, the F91 uh, weighs in at 26 grand, and its bigger cousin, the AE1500, then weighs in at 64 grams. Um, so yeah, you put this on wrist, and you'd be forgiven for thinking it it, it had fallen off. Um, they do, of course, come with 10 year. Uh, batteries um, but that is a little bit of a uh, that's a tough one um, because you don't know how old the watch is when you bought it and how, how many how many months years it's been sat in its little box ticking away but it's a tiny point uh, because you can screw off that case back and swap out the battery with ease it might depend of course as well on how much you're playing with your uh, light button um, it looks like this in the dark and that's pretty good um, you can certainly see the time in the dark I don't think you need me guys to tell you that these watches are certainly not horological uh, marvels. They perhaps have the design appeal of a calculator. However, if you also look at the dial, it's sort of, I think it's one of the things that wins me over about this watch and it looks like it should be more expensive. So yes, uh, design zero, but actually uh, in, in person, it's, it's, it looks very good. So yes, indeed, a bizarre conundrum. Thankfully, the 10-year uh, battery um, on these, uh, the 10-year battery boast on the dials here on these all-black versions comes in red, so it sort of hides itself quite well on the bez on the dial. Um, whereas, for example, on the 1500, excuse me, upside down, you see you've got it in huge bold text at the bottom there, um, reminding you about it every time you're trying to check the time. Um, where else did I want to go? 
In terms of functionality as well, while we're doing a little compare with the um, the F91, one of the things that I particularly like about uh, the 1200 is the strap length. Let me just zoom back out so you can see what I'm talking about. So yes, the strap length on these um, here, they're, they're designed for adults. As you can see, it's way, way, way longer. I think that's often one of the biggest issues that I have with the uh, F91 is it sits so tight on wrist um, that yeah, it just yeah, it just needs to be it just needs to have a longer strap. And then again, just for pure, pure uh, comparison purposes, yeah, it's exactly the same length as the AE1500. So again, solid fit on wrist. Um, in terms of functionality, of course, as well, obviously with your world times, uh, your, your stopwatches and, and all the other bits and pieces, it clearly does outdo uh, the, um, <laughs> the F91. Um, so yes, uh, another, another win there. What surprises me um, about these is how the watch modding community have migrated to these, perhaps to replace the SKX as the preferred model project. Um, it's also way, way cheaper. The array of components, I think, reflects the demand and the interest, and you can do all sorts of these things to get them looking as you want. Sadly, though, I think one of the reasons that models have taken to these is the poor build quality. Um, yes, they're very, very cheap, but the case bodies and the case backs, etc., and everything else about it, and even you know your, your um, crystal up top there, they're super uh, flimsy plastic. Um, personally, I would have paid a little bit more uh, to get a better product. And as I say, the, the foiled covered ones, I mean, those, those case bodies are just awful. So you can really see why a modder or anybody in their right mind would want to go, yeah, let's get rid of that case body and put on something better. Um, talking of, of mods and things, I've got my Gone Goo uh, ready here. So at a later stage, I'm going to be uh, getting rid of the Illuminator and getting rid of the World Time. And I'm, I'm still undecided around, yeah, probably the five alarms will go at the top as well. I'm not sure about the red 10-year uh, battery, as I say, because it sort of hides itself quite well on the dial. Um, and I'm also going to be having a bash um, at uh, the 1500. I'm going to get rid of, not about the illuminator, but I'll be certainly getting rid of the 10-year battery there at the bottom because, yeah, it just, yeah, it just looks a little bit silly, a bit twee. Um, the functions and uh, battery and everything else have been well covered in many other videos, so I'm not really going to go up into that. Today's video was just a little bit about my ru uh, ruminations on this uh, this uh, particular model and uh, what I plan to do with it. Um, if you've got some suggestions as to what mods I should attempt, please do drop a comment down below because I'd really keen to be I'd be really keen to learn from your ideas as to what works and doesn't. One of the things that I had been looking for but I haven't been able to find uh, was black buttons. Um, that I think would just um, make it uber stealth. Um, I thought maybe about going with a, a very faint yellow tinge screen on there. I thought it would match well with the black and, and the red on there. But again, I'm still undecided. So if you've got any suggestions, please just give us a shout. The strap, I mean, yeah, I think I might keep it for the time being. Um, I know that a lot of people are very, uh, very keen on swapping these out straight away. But I think I'm going to give that one a, um, a, a whirl. Anyway. Um, thanks as always for your time and for your view. Look forward to reading your comments down below and we'll catch you all in the next vid. Cheers guys.